In the dream, were you standing next to the victim? Or looking down at the scene? Neither. I, it was like I... Professor, will you please just tell me what's happened? Everard, Arthur's on guard duty tonight. Make sure he's found by the right people. Sir. Phineas! You must go to your portrait at Grimmel Place. Tell them that Arthur Weasley is gravely injured, and his children will be arriving there soon by Port Key. They got him, Albus. It was close, but they think he'll make it. Once more, the Dark Lord failed to acquire it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Next we need to... Look at me! What's happening to me? You wished to see me, Headmaster? Oh, Severus. I'm afraid we can't wait. Not even till the morning. Otherwise, we'd all be vulnerable. It appears that there is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. Whether he is as yet aware of this connection is, for the moment, unclear. Pray he remains ignorant. You mean, if he knows about it, then... He'll be able to read my mind. Read it. Control it. Unhinge it. In the past, it was often the Dark Lord's pleasure to invade the minds of his victims, creating visions designed to torture them into madness. Only after extracting the last exquisite ounce of agony, only when he had them literally begging for death, would he finally kill them. Used properly, the power of our clemency will help shield you from access or influence. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. Let him out. <laughs> Concentrate, Potter. Focus. Feeling sentimental. That's private. Not to me. Not to the Dark Lord if you don't improve. Every memory he has access to is a weapon he can use against you. You won't last two seconds if he invades your mind. You're just like your father. Lazy, arrogant. Don't say a word against my father. Weak. I'm not weak. Then prove it. Control your emotions. Discipline your mind. Legitimate. <laughs> what you call control. We've been at it for hours. If I could just rest. The Dark Lord isn't resting. You and Black yet two of a kind, sentimental children forever whining about how bitterly unfair your lives have been. Well, it may have escaped your notice, but life isn't fair. Your blessed father knew that. In fact, he frequently sought to... My father was a great man. Your father was a swine. <laughs> Let's Come on, Mooney. Go for it. Snape! Spill the armor. Nice one, James. Oh, James, finish him off. Dad. Impedimenta. Right. Who wants to see me take off Snibby's trout? Enough! Your lessons are at an end. I need to get 